And now, do you want to kind of talk in the same way about how you talked with the muscle and activity decline by looking at VO2 max? Yes. So again, apologies for those not watching, but rather listening. Again, please take a look at the show notes. Um, but here you can see um, a table that shows exactly what is happening to VO2 max um, as we age. Now, the purpose of this table, of course, is to show you something else. The purpose of this table is to show you uh, basically the quartiles of VO2 max by age. So the way this table is broken up is that low, below average, above average, and then high and elite combined represent the four quartiles of VO2 max. Um, the, the difference is that elite peels off the top 2.3% for each respective age and sex. And so we could talk about what that looks like, but I think a more important point and the purpose of, I think, showing it here is to give you a sense of how every one of these categories falls. In fact, what I think is most illustrative is to just look at the elite category. So again, these are the top 2.3% of the population. So for example, if you look at a woman in her late teens, the top 2.3% would have a VO2 max greater than 53 milliliters uh, of oxygen per kilogram per minute. And you can see that that will fall such that by the time a woman is 80 to be in the top 3%, uh, pardon me, the top 2.3%, she would have to be greater than 30 milliliters per kilogram per minute. But what's interesting is 30 places her in the bottom quartile for the late teens. It would place her at about the 25th percentile for someone in her 20s. So the implication here is that regardless of how fit you are, you can still expect to see a precipitous drop here. And as I've talked about many times, and certainly my patients are probably very sick of hearing this, the reason we want to see people, um, if they want to live a completely uncumbered life into the final decade of their life, and that's a big you know, if not everybody necessarily has that type of an aspiration, but if your aspiration is indeed to basically be able to do what you want, um, you know, without limitation, climb a flight of stairs, carry a luggage up a broken escalator, go for a hike, um, you pretty much need to be two decades younger at the elite level if you're thinking you're going to live to be about 90. Um, so anyway, this hopefully provides some illustration of why that's the case. Uh -huh.